Hey guys, welcome back. This is the seventh video of our full stack Ruby on Rails development bootcamp series. Here we're gonna discuss about accessor methods in Ruby. We will also discuss about attribute reader accessor method in Ruby. So first, let's start with the accessor in Ruby. Because before understanding the attribute reader, we need to understand that what are accessors. So accessors are a way to create getter and setter methods without explicitly define them in a class okay and there are three type of accessors attribute reader attribute writer and attribute accessor but for this video our goal is to understand the attribute reader in ruby only and in the next coming lectures we will also cover up the other two types of accessor which are attribute writer and attribute accessor so let's let's start with the attribute reader Attribute reader automatically generates a getter method for each given attribute. For example, let's see our previous example. Here you can see that we have three instance variable in the students class that are at the rate name, at the rate email and at the rate contact. Now here we have three getter methods for all name for accessing all name, email and contact and three setter methods for updating the value of name, email and contact. But in this video, since we are checking attribute reader, so we will only focus on the getter method. Okay. Now you can see I have used puts s1.name, s1.email, and puts s1.contact for getting output of this. Let's try to execute this program. Here you will see value of name, at the rate name, at the rate email, and this is for at the rate contact. But you can see that I have to define these getter methods explicitly in this class. Now let's remove this getter setter methods. Now if you try to execute it again, you will see the error. But don't worry, we will use the auto generated getter methods using attribute reader. Let's say name, email and Okay, now let's execute this program again. Here you can see the value of name, email, and content. Why? Because you used attribute reader and provide three attributes to this as argument that are name, email, and content. So it has auto generated the getter method for each given attribute. Okay, so this is the advantage of using attribute reader for getter methods. This prevents your effort for writing getter methods manually, but you need to be careful about defining attribute reader. You can only access those instance variable which you have passed to attribute reader. Okay, let's say remove this contact from here. Now attribute reader can only read name and email. So it should execute this line number 26 and 25 but it should not execute the puts s1 dot content so let's try to execute clear the console first and run this program here you can see i can see the value of name email but i cannot find the value of content okay no method error so it means that if i want to generate uh, automatically generate the getter method for an attribute or for an instance variable then i must need to pass that instance variable as an attribute to the attribute reader so now when i pass the contact again and execute the program again i this error will be gone and i will see the name email and contact variable here okay so let's come to the ppt this is the example that we have seen and now these are the things to remember you can only access those instance variable which you have passed to attribute reader and you can only use attribute reader in a class using attribute reader outside a class will give you a no method error okay now guess what is the next this is the question time so you will get six questions from this video that the first one is what are accessor in Ruby? What is attribute reader?
can we call attribute reader without any argument do we need to put setter method even if we have used attribute reader accessor in our program so yes you need to put setter method if you want to change value of or existing value of an instance variable then you need to write setter methods manually if you are only using attribute reader okay what is the advantage of using attribute reader in your Ruby program so we have clearly seen that if we use attribute reader then it will prevent us to writing getter methods manually can we use attribute reader outside the class no we saw in this section things to remember that we cannot use attribute reader outside the class so i hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching this video that's all from it and in the next lecture we will discuss about attribute reader accessor methods till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe